Hello everybody. This video explains how to integrate BigCommerce store on Wampad. Now let us see how to create BigCommerce API credentials. First create a BigCommerce account and login. Once logged in, we will get the dashboard as shown here. So to get the API credentials, first click on settings. Click on let us see API settings. That click on create a legacy API account. Let us see API account details window opens. Here you can see the API path and API token. Enter the username here in this username field and click on save. These three API credentials will be used in Wombat to integrate our BigCommerce store on Wombat. To integrate BigCommerce store on Wombat, create a Wombat account and login. Once logged in, you will get the dashboard as shown here. Now let us see how to create connections. Under setup, click on connections. To create a new connection, click on Add Custom. Enter the connection name in the name field. Enter the URL where the integration code is hosted. I paste it under URL field. Add product image and logo image if needed. Enter the connection parameter. Actually these parameters are already created in BigCommerce. You can use the same. This username. Click on add parameter to add the next parameter. Copy and paste the AP path. This is AP token. Copy and paste it. Click on next. For example, now let us see how to create a web book to get products from BigCommerce store by calling a function get underscore products on our integrated app when a no product is added to BigCommerce store. Click on next. Click on add new web book. In web book configuration, enter the name of the web book. And path as a function name to be called. I am calling the function get underscore products. Choose the purpose as receive. Choose data type as products. Click on add parameter. Enter the parameter min underscore date underscore modified in name field. Enter the same in label field also. Choose type as timestamp. Select the record box. Click on create web book.
the parameter min underscore date underscore modified was added to receive latest products from BigCommerce through our integrated app. Now click on save. Now the webbook is created. All the webbooks which we are using in our integration code is displayed here. We can edit the webbook by clicking on edit option. And get underscore products is used to get all the products from the BigCommerce store. And get underscore orders is used to get all the orders from BigCommerce store. And get underscore customers is used to get all the customers from BigCommerce store. Get underscore shipments is used to get all the shipment details from the BigCommerce store. Except get underscore customers webbook, we are using the parameter min underscore date underscore modified. Only for get underscore customers webbook, we are using the parameter min underscore date underscore created. Now let us see how to create flows. Before creating flow, we have to create webbook. Now for example, let us see how to create flow to get products from BigCommerce store. Select flows from setup menu. Click on add flow to create a flow. It shows all the available integrations. Enter the connection name, the search box. I am searching for sample. I am selecting that. As this webbook is for receiving products, select receive option. Choose product. Select the name of the webbook. I am selecting get underscore product. Choose the interval to call the function. We will call this function every 5 minutes. So I am selecting as 5. And enter the name of this flow in I want to name this flow field. And click on save. Now this flow is saved. We are calling the webbook with the parameter min underscore date underscore modified for every 5 minutes to receive products from BigCommerce store. I am clicking on save. So the flow is successfully created. All the flows which we are using in our integration code is displayed here. And the flow which you have created just now is shown here. Now let us see how our integration code works. This is the integration code URL. This integration code is used to send and receive data to and from BigCommerce store. Here first we have to enter API connection details. Click on edit API connection info. Enter the username API path and token which you have created in BigCommerce here. Enter username as sample underscore wombat. Store URL as API path. I am giving the AP token. Let us see each functions one by one. This get products function is to get the latest products from the BigCommerce store. I am clicking on send. I am sending the request. I am getting the response. 
Now the next function is get underscore orders. This is to get the latest orders from the Bcomma store. I'm clicking on send, which sends a request to the Bcomma store. I'm getting the response as shown here. Next is get underscore customers function. This is to get the customer details from the Bcomma store. I am clicking on send, sends a request to the Bcomma store. And the response is displayed here. The next is get underscore shipments function. This function is to get all the shipment details from the Bcomma store. I am clicking on send which sends request to the Bcomma store. I am getting the response which is shown here. The next function is add underscore product. This is to add products to the Bcomma store. Here I am giving the product name as gown and the SQ as GO1. I am clicking on send. I am getting the response as shown here. The product is added to the Bcomma store. Next is the add underscore order function. This is to create an order. So I am selecting this product ID 94 to create the order. I am entering the product ID. I am clicking on send. So this order is created. Next function is add underscore customer. This function is to add customers. Here I am giving the first name. I am giving my name. First name as Merlin and last name as John. I am giving my email id. I am clicking on send. Now the customer named Merlin John is created. All the responses of the current integration code which we have executed is received under notifications of Wombat. And all the data can be seen under the data tab. Under customers you can see the data of all the customers. You can see the reference number created at last updated time. And under orders, you can see all the orders. Here you can see order number, customer email, total, state, last updated. Under products, you can see the data of all the products. SQ, name, price, last updated time. Under shipments, you can see all the shipment details, shipment number, order number, email, status, last updated time. So we have successfully integrated Become a Store on Vambat. Thank you.